The internet joins together computers across the world. It comprises many types of equipment, from fiber optic cables under the sea to satellites in the sky, and the device on your desk or in your hand. This is the infrastructure on which emails, for example, are sent. It is also used to transmit information about physical objects, such as goods on the way to shops, in an Internet of Things. But the way most people use the Internet is by connecting to the World Wide Web that it carries. Websites are normally hosted on large computers called servers. You reach a website by sending a signal from your computer to an Internet Service Provider or ISP. In companies or institutions, your signal might go through an Internet Local Area Network first. The ISP then connects you to the website. It can do this because each computer, including yours, has a unique IP address, similar to a phone number. When you send or receive information online, it is not sent as a complete single message. Instead, it is broken into packets of data that are sent out across the network together. Each one takes the easiest possible route to its destination, where all the packets are assembled again in the right order. The crucial elements for achieving this are routers. They connect parts of the Internet together and have tables of IP addresses used to pass the information along from one to another. The Internet owes much to ITU's technical standards. From the start, modems were standardized at ITU, whose work is also at the heart of Digital Subscriber Line, or DSL, technologies. ITU is the long-time leader in optical fiber standardization, and mobile access, too, is facilitated by ITU's work. ITU is in support however you go online.